Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the show. Hope everyone is having a good month of December and seeing as how we're approaching the year of 2017, I'd like to give you my list of top five programming languages to learn for the year of 2017. All right, so I'm gonna tell you, before you take any advice from anyone online or in real life, you really understand what kind of background they come from because they're gonna have a heavy, heavy bias based on their previous knowledge. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a brief history of the programming languages that I know starting from the year of roughly 2000. And so way back in the day, I was really interested in graphics and design. So I learned how to use programs like Adobe Photoshop and Flash. And that's why I learned how to use ActionScript 2.0 to build a very simple game, sort of like DDR, but with the keyboards instead. So quickly after graduating high school, I went to community college and that's where I got exposure to the C language. That's where I learned how to use Merge Sort, Bubble Sort, and also how to write programs in a more structured way. And from there is where I went to university to study a little bit more computer science. And that's where I encountered Scheme, Java, and a little bit of C++ for a graphics course. Now, Scheme is a pretty difficult language to learn because it's so heavy in recursion, but it's also at the same time pretty amazing because it really teaches you how to write really, really uh, compact programs. And so after graduating university, I got my very first job as a software support engineer where I did some C-sharp programming and learned how to use .NET and SQL. So it was during that time where I wanted to become a full-time coder, and so I went back to Flash and learned how to use Flex and ActionScript 3.0, and that's when I got my first job as a Flex UI developer. So for some of you guys that don't know what Flex is, it's basically a framework that allows you to use the Flash plugin in the browser to build really, really sophisticated UI. So moving on from there, roughly around 2011 and 2012, was when I picked up my very, very first Android device. Uh, in fact, I still have it in a box somewhere. It's a Samsung Galaxy S. It hasn't blown up yet. And it was during that time when I first started learning how to program with Android uh, to build very basic and rudimentary apps. And then from there, I picked up an iPad 2, learned how to use Objective-C to build a very, very basic app that used the Yelp API to help you decide what to have for lunch. So fast forward to roughly around 2014 was when I got my first big job as an iOS developer at a company called Touch of Modern, where I also learned how to use Rails and Ruby as a backend. So it was roughly during that time when Swift 1 came out, so I had to pick up that language as well. So roughly around the end of 2015, because I kind of discovered that I didn't really like using Rails, uh, I started learning this language called Google Golang, or more commonly referred to as Google Go, a really, really powerful backend programming language. Okay, so finally in the year of 2016 was when I started to relearn JavaScript using the React.js framework, uh, in fact, the website that you guys use to download a lot of my source code is built, uh, the front end is built using React.js. Okay, so that is my programming backend. And based on that information, you can tell that I think it's really important to know how to program for the browser, mobile, and also how to build a backend server. And here we go. If I were to graduate in the year of 2017, what are the top programming languages that I would recommend myself to learn? Well, the first thing I would recommend for any software developer to learn is to learn how to use JavaScript because you can find JavaScript on the browser and the browser exists everywhere from the computer to our smartphones and even on the TV. But because I think JavaScript is pretty broad, I think the best way to learn it is to learn Node.js to build a backend server and also to learn React.js to build out the front end of your application. Okay, so number two on the list isn't so much a programming language, but I believe every software engineer needs to learn how to use SQL in their careers. So the reason why I think SQL is important is because it really teaches you how to make your application simple and how to make it easy to maintain as the backend evolves. So number three on the list, if you want to become a mobile developer, I obviously recommend Swift if you want to become an iOS engineer. And then if you want to become an Android developer, definitely learn Java. And there's a new language called Kotlin that you should learn as well. Okay, now what else is out there? If you want to become a backend developer, I strongly recommend learning something like Google Go or Golang or PHP and Rails. Okay, so that's my very, very quick list on the top programming languages that I would recommend for the year 2017. Now I'm also really curious and interested on what you guys think. So please leave a comment down below. And like always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hope you guys enjoyed the holidays for the end of 2016. Uh, until then, keep on coding and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.